today in Canada everything is starting to grow well just up alongside of the house here but uh, the ponds look great that yellow flag you can see it's really growing nice now marsh marigold is blooming these are this is the bottom pond there's a bunch of babies and fish from last year and then the three koi there's two like the white one. Uh, there's the other white one. He's underneath the duck now. There he comes. A Sankey koi, I think they call him. Oh, it's just so beautiful, the weather. It's like uh, 75 degrees almost today. Look at the yellow flag. It's growing. And the fish are all looking awesome. There's that big black butterfly koi. I'm going to have to feed them some today, I think. And the marsh marigold. Look at the blooms that are coming. Remember how tiny it was just a few weeks ago? It's growing now more and more every day. And it's so fresh, fresh and crisp. And look at the blossoms everywhere. It'll just be covered and it'll get really big. It's a fabulous plant for early spring. There's the hornwort. The fish all look stunning. I've got my plants out because it's nice. I move them in and out. What a workout. Work, work, work. Come home and move all the plants out of the greenhouse so everybody can sit in the sun with me. And these uh, koi look just awesome. There are the koi in the second pond from the top. They're age three to probably, well, the half koi is 20, but the other koi are about three to seven or eight years, maybe. And everything looks great. I like to have the sun sparkling on the pond. The fish need it, the water needs it. Your pond can't come alive without sun. If you're in the UK and you're covering it all up on a nice day because you think you're going to lose some heat, the koi don't feel it when it's cold. Like, my water's still cold. But they seem to be all happy and thriving and swimming around, looking for food. There's some there now and the big orange one. The big white one. just beautiful. I got my coffee out here. My money tree. Oh, I, I should tell you something. Um, I kind of was eating too many carbs. I don't eat sugar, but pasta and potato chips. And suddenly I had a blood sugar problem. And that was on Monday. The doctor said it was at 22, the sugars. And so I went immediately on the keto diet and this isn't, this is Saturday, like six days later, five days later, and doing hardcore keto and eating just tiny, tiny amounts, like a kid, and just small amounts more frequently, and I brought it down to 11.7 as of now and the doctor wanted it at 12.5 so it's below the doctor's target so just cutting all carbs and all sugars brought the uh, diabetes under control I know it's not about my pond but yeah I did keto before and I, I always felt so healthy it's just after my mom died I think I started eating too many carbs again and bread. I mean, so I'll get it all under control, starve the diabetes slowly. Uh, I mean, I'm still getting food, but just little bits at a time so that the insulin doesn't spike and the cells will become less resistant. Everything looks good. Yeah, so, and I have more energy now. I just had a crash there last week on my uh, blood sugars. 
and I didn't even realize that I was diabetic. But yeah, no, I feel really good today and I'm just never gonna eat those bad carbs again. Well, if I do, it'll be very tiny amounts once everything's all stabilized and back to normal. We're almost back to normal now. I mean, I, I went from 22 to 11.7. So in like six days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days, Saturday, today's Saturday. So yeah, cut out the carbs if you have to, cause like I'm not gonna put up with diabetes. I mean, I don't even eat sugar. I don't, I don't even put sugar in my coffee ever. I don't drink juice because it's too sweet. I never drink pop. I never touch sugar. Rarely will I have a little piece of chocolate. But it was a spaghetti. Oh my God. Spaghetti has 63 grams of carbs. That did me in. So if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, just cut down the carbs huge. Or if you're going to have some, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Yeah. Anyway, that was just me ranting about my uh, newly discovered diabetes. Hope uh, you don't mind, but I guess I had to tell the world. Because you can reverse it. I remember when I was keto, when I was taking care of my mom, I felt so good. I was running all over the place. I still, I feel better, much better now that my sugars are down. I mean, I work hard all the time. I'm not uh, overweight by any means. I mean, I could lose some weight, but I'm not like obese or anything. I work very hard. Baby! And baby's not fat either. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> yes, Beanie. Beanie loves me. We're a family. Yes, Beanie. But I have to take care of myself because my core are old. And who's going to take care of them like me, okay? So I told my husband we got to take care of each other and watch out for, you know, any sign of illness or sickness and you know because sometimes I, I could have had a diabetic shock I just laid there last weekend and slept and that's so unlike me because I'm usually inside outside uh, moving all my plants around every day okay work and then come and move all these pots out and they're big pots out of the greenhouse and then put them back in by nightfall that's like a huge task like I work hard on my garden and everything skinny people can be diabetic too it just happens it runs in the family doctor said it was uh, genetic because I, I don't I don't look like I should have diabetes you know like I'm not grossly overweight I mean I'm a few I could lose 20 pounds and I do a lot better but yeah I work hard and I am gonna lose a ton of weight now because I'm eating like a bird, I already feel skinnier. Like just to get all, get lean on the belly if you have diabetes. Right, Beanie? Baby's probably diabetic. We gotta take her to the vet. Because she's kind of overweight. Dogs can get diabetes too, apparently. So, I mean, they don't eat many carbs that I know of, but. I think I'll take Baby to the vet because she is overweight, but not Beanie. Beanie runs like the wind. This dog here runs at 35 kilometers an hour. I clocked her trying to catch her with the car. Yes, Beanie. Beanie's all like run, run, run. Oh, I got to clean that filter right now. You see that filter right there when it starts to rise? It's time to clean it because it sucked up all the algae and then everything will work better again. So I'll clean it, yes. Anyway, that's a, just a quick yak about my life and my ponds. That's all I use is these filters here, but it, they suck up lots of waste and then I just take them to the front and hose them out good. And then this pond will flow even faster. These the goldfish all look good. But I gotta clean that filter and I got stuff to do. I'm gonna make cream of asparagus soup that's keto friendly. 
and some chicken wings and a salad. And just a tiny bit, like three or four chicken wings, a piece of salad, and a cup of soup. Not a bowl, a cup. Because you got to eat tiny, tiny amounts. And then uh, your insulin levels will correct themselves. And that's today in Canada. <laughs>